Hi everybody, it's Nira Lewis from the My Golf Academy in Horsham Golf again and we have finally been able to come out and do our Oaks Challenge. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this Lewis? Just about I think, Excellent. just about. Yep. So uh, we're going to try and do the first three holes today and we've managed to get some people to come out and watch and then we've also got Mark joining us as our winner for our playing lesson. So uh, I'm going to be going off the green tees, Lewis is going to be going off the blacks, blacks yeah. and Mark's going to be going off the blues and while we've come to this conclusion, you know, Lewis is a little bit taller than me, hits the ball a little bit further than me. So to make things even and fair, we've kind of decided which tee box would be most suited to give ourselves a really good game and hopefully keep it quite tight and yeah. keep it interesting. Points, so, yeah. are we ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, first hole, again, I'm off black, so I'm off the tees right at the back. Now I've got 260 yards to the bunker on the far right hand side and I've got about 220, 230 to carry the water on the left. Not going to go with driver, driver would be a bit, a bit too much, so instead I'm going to go for my two iron, uh, lands around 240 and can roll out a little bit further. So it should leave me short of the bunker and fingers crossed, nice and straight, fingers crossed. So it's my turn, Lewis has hit really good drive, so I'm playing off the greens and I'm going to be using a hybrid off the tee. I could hit driver, but it's quite a narrow gap, so this is more for placement. And then really, I'm just trying to get myself between the two big trees and, you know, it's slightly more favourable on the right side, but anywhere down there will be absolutely marvellous. So. Well, that wasn't the best shot, but we've got to go and carry on. Here we go. Okay, so not the best start for me, but it happens to the best of us. I'm going to just try and hit my rescue again. Plant myself down there and get myself happy. Oh, that's not good. Okay, right, so I hit an okay tee shot. Hit it a bit toey, so it hasn't gone the full distance, but I found the fairway and I'm on, I'm on the right way down there. So I've got an okay shot. I've got an overhanging tree of this tree in front, so I need to make sure I've taken enough club to get under it. Um, I've got a good 250 to the gap, so I've got no, really, no real troubles with yardage and trying to fall in any ditches. So I've gone with a four iron, it'll keep my flight nice and low, and I've hit it in the right spot. It should lead me wedge into the green, nothing too major. So fingers crossed, further down the fairway, nothing too aggressive. We'll give it a try. So, hit the last shot pretty good. Um, I put myself quite a nice shot into the green. Got 114 yards, which for me, my gap wedge goes about 120. So, it's a bit cold, so I'm just going to try and land it a little long, see if I can get a little bit grip of uh, spin back, but we'll see. The only trouble I've got, which I can foresee, is I've got this little branch over hanging again. So, if I was five yards further right, perfect. I'm a little bit too far left, so I've got to try and hoist it over the tree. Give it a crack. Okay, so Lewis is on the green for free. However, it's not a massively holdable putt for birdie outside chance. I'm here for three, so trying to get my full shot in. And if I can get this cove and sneak off with a par with my terrible tee shot to start, then I think I'm doing okay. So I've got roughly 78, 79 yards, which I've got a 52 degree wedge. I'm a little bit of rough, so it might fly out a bit more, but it's very wet underneath. So I'm hoping it's gonna stop quite quickly. So really just gonna try and hold down the shaft a little bit, standard kind of pitch shot here, and looking roughly swing length, 10 more this way here, somewhere between sort of 10 and nine o'clock, and then just gonna try and match it up through on the other side, and hopefully that will be enough. We get very close to the flag. Okay, 
game on. Okay, so hit wedge shot really good. Didn't quite get as much spin as I thought. It's landed pretty soft and just kind of stayed there. I've got about 35 footer for a birdie. Um, Lee is the other side, got about 20 footer, 15 footer for a par. I'm seeing a big left to right. I've left the flag in because if I do hit it a bit firm and it hits the flag, it's going to stop it. So, uh, yeah, if I can just get this in two, I'll be quite happy. Good. Good. So pleased with the first hole. Now on to the tricky second. That's a super tight tee shot. It's only 330 to the flag itself. So drive you, you could do, but it gets so tight up the top there's just no point. So I've got 225 to that bunker up on the left hand side. My six iron's about 195 and it'll leave me a nice wedge on. So I've gone six iron, 195, and I'm just gonna leave it just short of that bunker. Okay, so one up to Lewis, but I'm not totally disappointed that first hole. It could have been a lot worse with that tee shot, so we're just going to crack on and get on with the next one. So same as Lewis, we're trying to just get out to that left-hand left bunker, which if I hit driver, there's a chance of going in. So I'm just going to stick with hybrid and aim for the bunker and put the best swing I can onto the shot. Okay, so much better tee shot for me. I'm in perfect place to open up the green. So I've got about 126 yards and I'm gonna go with a seven. It might come up a little shy, but I always find playing at Horsham, it's not always the most attacking place to play. And a lot of the trouble tends to fall at the back of the green. So given the choice, I think shorter sometimes is slightly better at Horsham. So club selected, full swing, and aim straight at the flag and again, just put the best swing possible on. Right, so found the middle of the fairway, just short of the bunker like I wanted, so job one done on the tee shot. Next, I've got uphill, uh, 115 yards, so same club as the last hole, good gap wedge. The pin's in the middle, so if I go a little long, I'm fine, if a little short, it's fine, but 115 is about perfect yardage, so I can just hit a full, full gap wedge and see where it goes. Okay, so good, much better hole for me so far. Good tee shot, good second shot. I'm just a little bit further away from Lewis, uh, from, from the hole than Lewis, so I'm gonna go first. And yeah, not maybe necessarily a main mission to hold this, but I definitely wanna make sure I secure par, put the pressure back on Lewis. We are seeing this little bit uphill, maybe swinging in a little bit from the right, but it's more about pace control. I'm just not making, making sure I don't leave myself any city putt coming. So here, okay, wedge shot. Um, I've got about 20 feet for a birdie. Uh, it's pretty straight and up the hill, but I think at the last minute it's going to turn to the right. So I'm going to a little bit left um, and maybe give it a little bit extra, but it's downhill after the hole. So I'm not going to hit it too firm, just cozy up there somewhere. Right, so half the second. So we're on to the third, we've got 144 yards, short par three. Now the pin is tucked way on the right hand side. Now I don't want to really want to go right at the flag because um, it's all sloping off before that. So anything short right is just going to roll to the bottom of the hill. My target is a mound left of the flag at the back. 144 yards, my nine iron is about 150. So a little bit soft and uh, should be about the right club. Tough 
pin placement today, especially for me, I'm someone who hits the ball from right to left. I'm not really a left to righter, so I'm not even gonna attempt to try and hit a fade. All I'm gonna try and do is go for the center of the green, gives myself some wriggle room. If it does happen to have a touch of fade, brilliant. If it draws a little bit, it's gonna be fine. Or if I leave it straight, it's gonna be the center of the green and hopefully on the putting surface. And let's give it a go. Okay, so you can drop it where I've marked it here. So it makes sense for me to get as close to this one. I've got more room for a shot. And then you drop, ball's now in play. So this is now my third shot. The best I can hope for is try and make a four and hope that Lewis free putts over there. Now I haven't got <laughs> much to work with. I need a shot that's gonna get high enough to get over the rough, but I'm not gonna hit this tree. So I'm gonna use a nine iron and just try my best to sort of chip and run and get it somehow landing just over these tree stumps here and hopefully that will run out to the hole but I think any result just out of here is going to be it's going to be a good one so here we go and that's probably as best I could hope for out of that situation so we'll see how this plays out okay right so pulled the tee shot a bit had the right club so it's gone the right distance but was a bit pulled so I've got a hefty putt this is probably 50 60 feet tough uphill left to right but we should be able to get it quite close I reckon should be all right Right, so that's the first three holes done. So thank you to Mark for coming and joining yeah, us. Thank you, Mark. You've some really good shots out yeah. there. So yeah, well, yeah, well done. Yeah, that's really good. And the state of play, should we tell them? Yeah, absolutely. So Lewis is two up after three holes. I had a bit of a ropey start, but some good shots in there. We've yeah. still got a lot of holes to go. And yeah. Yeah. We'll keep it going. Yeah, definitely good keeping. Recovery. Yeah, good some good recoveries. Get that tee shot in play, and I think you're going to be in a bit of trouble, Lewis. In trouble. Yeah. There we go. See how we go. Yeah. So if you want to come and join us for the next three holes, same lad like Mark here, you need to leave a comment below, get in touch with us and come and join us for the next three and we'll release the date out very, very soon. Follow white rabbit. I'm taking potions, call me Alice. Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket